Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today I have a beginner tip in ScreenFlow. I am going to show you how to ripple delete clips. I am using ScreenFlow 7, the latest version, but this will work in most any version of ScreenFlow. Okay, so what is ripple delete? Okay, I have three clips here on the timeline. If I want to get rid of this middle section here, I can press on the video layer, hold the shift key for the audio, now I have them both selected. Just hit the delete key, that'll get rid of both of them. Now I have this gap here. I can simply drag over the clips on the right and close the gap. That's one way. I can undo that. I'm going to now double click on the middle there. I get that blue line. I can delete there. Do it again on the audio track. Now I have that cinch. But that's kind of a pain. Wouldn't it be nice if we could select both of these clips here and then delete everything but have everything to the right come in so we can close the gap automatically? That is what Ripple Delete does. To Ripple Delete in ScreenFlow, hold the shift key. Press on the top of the scrubber there or the playhead and just simply drag. You can see the blue line wherever you stop. You don't have to go in between clips. It can be anywhere. But we'll go to the end just to make it neat. Then you can come up here if you forget the shortcut key and look at this, Ripple Delete. But the shortcut key that you really need to commit to memory is Command Delete. What it's going to do is delete everything under the blue and it's going to bring everything to the right over. So you don't have to close the gap. It's a really efficient and fast way to do video editing. So I'm going to hit Command delete and watch what happens. Deleted everything and brought everything to the right over. I can just hold the shift key, drag a little clip right here. What it's going to do is delete everything under that blue area and everything to the right is going to bring over. Even if it's all the way down at the very end, it's going to pull everything over so that there's never going to be a gap. So hit command delete and just like that, now you have these two clips here in the middle. I'll do it one more time. Hold the shift key, press and drag a selection. Anything under the blue will be under the selection. Hold Command, Delete. That is Ripple Delete, something I do more than almost anything in ScreenFlow. That is your quick tip. Cheers.